This begins with the story. Well, my grandmother told me that it wasn't cool to be a dark-skinned girl when she was growing up because when she was growing up, most of her family members were light-skinned. And so, from the stories and the things that they've told me is that those issues, colorisms, things like this, was a part of our past. is who am I? Does my skin color even matter? Some doctor or PhD did a study saying that African American women are the least beautiful. I've never been compelled to hate myself so it just seems like a lot of these studies or a lot of these things in society are put out there in a way to try to make me do so. So, who am I? Does it even matter? Where do I come from? These are questions I think a lot of people ask. Um, it's like, I felt like as an African American woman, or I like to say a black woman, I feel like we get judged from a whole bunch of different areas like we get judged from white society we get judged from African society some Africans uh, we, we get judged from all over like I've even heard people judge American black people for slavery like something that we had no control over like as if to say we are weaker or weaker people because of slavery and I would just have to say, just from my thoughts personally, that I feel like we're stronger people because of slavery. Um, and that's just my thought on that. The dark skin, light skin thing, it, I feel it's resurfacing. And it's an ugly little thing in our community that we have. But I love my skin color. I got a little tan actually <laughs> from um, living in Arizona. But I love myself and it's crazy that I feel like a lot of people are trying to make me not love myself and it's just difficult. It is, it's difficult. So the black perspective per se. I don't know it. I don't know everybody's perspective. But the things that I do notice is that society, at least this society, wasn't built for me.